To start our trial, we're going to start by getting a sense of how the hemp fiber mat responds to water. Now, water is super important because plants need it in order to uh, engage in photosynthesis. And it's also through the water that nutrients are delivered to the plant. So water is a super important part of crop growth. And I'm going to do trials with the 1020 tray and with the paper pot tray because water could actually move in each of these mats very differently because of the edges here. So I'm going to do those a little separately. Now, you don't need to see me for this, so what I'm going to do is get an angle where we can look at these. Now this trial is going to take a little bit of time. We're just going to pour some water on these and see what happens and take a look. Uh, we're going to pour some in here. There's going to be some excess in here. We're going to be, you know, I'm not going to use like a good distribution method or anything like that. I'm just going to introduce water and we're going to observe for a little bit to see what happens, to see how the, the fiber mat changes. Uh, and then we're going to let them sit to see what happens over time. How quickly these dry out, if one dries out quicker than the other, anything like that. So just some basic observations. So once we've gone through that and given it some time, we'll come back and revisit those and start making some uh, comments on the observations. And from those observations, we're going to start thinking about, okay, how is this going to affect how we grow relative to soil? We're going into this growing everything in soil. And so there's a technique, there's a strategy, there are, everything is about soil and the principles we use for growing in soil may not hold for fiber mats. So we need to look toward uh, where we're going to adjust those. So let's take a look at some water here. 